shame and guilt they bind us they are the shackles wanting to be broken how to break this cycle first of all the very wording of it is so negative in its connotation it's so negative in its term that is so pungent and strong that is good enough to knock us down each time something better comes up we hold back because of it subconsciously we are so imprisoned in the chain of the shame and guilt that we can never be grow out of it but the very perspective towards it has to come to some level of understanding and that will come only when a new perspective is created new perspective could be created only when you let loose of whatever it is that keeps popping up all the time each time you are subconsciously stopped from taking an action you have to be propelled by the prospective which holds the grander vision for you at this point in time and say thank you be grateful that there is something that is grander awaits me that i'm designed for the dissolution of karma can only happen by the very process of what you're doing at this point in time by the very process of what it is right now that you have been grappling struggling with whatever you are going through is the only way forward to dissolve all karmic layers which stop you at all time the very process of life is self evolutionary so each time you're confronted with shame and guilt subconsciously which very insidiously stop you saps your energy but there is a propeller of the prospect that wants you to make a move make a move make a move so here you need to create a gap you do need to create a gap between what stops you and what the prospect is each time this gap is created and is stressed you are making a headway you indeed are making a headway but you need to create that gap between what stops you what just comes up from somewhere subconsciously hold you chain you the chain of shame and guilt at the same time there is a possibility of immense growth so this awareness itself is so elevating but you need to create the gap not let the manacle of shame and guilt to change you it shall be taken only as a self evolutionary measure for you to break off all the shackle of shame and guilt it is gone now it is gone now it no longer can chain you further it can no longer hold you back any further so that gap is very important that is stretch is very important there is a power in this universe with a weight your greatness the most important thing here is to overcome what has gripped you consumed you belittled you demeaned you disparaged you as a means towards which a life of a human could be glorified and that is you the very expression of yours is asking for liberty not liberty which is chained by the pleasure of senses but beyond it way beyond it 
once you operate from your own essence that's who you actually are that's the expression of you being as a human you already have been blessed with everything and to know it to know it to know it that what we have gone through which has created all these negative emotions are there for a specific reason and the specific reason is the specific reason is this is the most important thing to understand to come to realization that what ever you did was a self evolutionary measure that is it and now you know it in absolute reality the clarity is so much the clarity is so striking the clarity is so dominant the clarity of what you have come out of after having gone through the sea of negative emotions the clarity is so much my dear friends that in coming many life of yours you would intuitively be in the know of what it is that you must not do what is it that you must not do you would just know it my dear friends you'll be elevated that is the most significant thing that realization is amazing life transforming that the very clarity of it the very epiphany of it will take care of you for many many life of yours the body could just drop one day but the realization of it will be the same so in the next birth of yours you will be absolutely know of what you are here to do on this planet what it is that you must not do that's the clarity that's like epiphany just arising out of the ashes and creating a new life altogether creating a new soul altogether if i could say i know it cannot be uh, said but in a way it's a new life so all that you have done which you are not proud of or I would rather say you are ashamed of yourself having done so can actually be transmuted in absolute divine way in absolute uh, conscious way which will catapult you to find yourself the grander version of yourself as who you are as you are into everything and everything is into you the realization of the reality as it is why this thing happen so that you are in absolutely in no of even if the body has dropped my dear friends you in your next birth and then the next birth you would exactly know what not to do what not to do what not to do that is the most important thing the only way you to do it is to ensure that you do it in this life only otherwise if this body is gone then it will be carried forward to the next one and it will keep you there it's just that the body will change but the feeling will be the same then you will be given the opportunity again to come out of it but my dear friends my dear friends why do you want to prolong to your next birth this is the question do you want to prolong to that long do you want to prolong your mental anxiety and shame and guilt to your next birth do you want to do that huh is it a good idea absolutely not so you are blessed with human body and you can actually dissolve all your karma through this body why i'm saying what i'm saying because all the karma was done using this body only this body has been used to perform to carry out things which you may not be proud of your thought was there too but basically the thoughts turn into action through this body physical body that's the problem so as long it's there in the thought is fine but once it, it it gets translated into physical action it creates a heap of karma for many lifetimes to come if 
is not resolved in this life. So you are blessed with this human body. So this is only awareness. Awareness can change. The very prospect of uh, possibility which has you ingrained right where you are at this point in time to help you to grow from where you are. This is what you need to realize. <laughs> exactly. You do not need to go ahead or be in that position or that time. As you listen to this, don't you think that you are being guided to do it right now? I'm asking you. Who knows? I'm just being a channel to process this information to you. Don't you think every time in your life as it is, is an opportunity for you, for you to make progress. If you forgive yourself first and seek forgiveness from the other, yeah, it could be one of it, but basically, it is something much bigger and that is the very prospect of life ahead of what it could be, what it could be, what it could be. And you are the reason why it could be. You are only the reason why it could be, my dear friends. There's no any other reason in the world. So don't you think you should make a move? And be thankful, be thankful that there is a possibility of growth. You need to create that gap and stretch so that there is a propeller. The propeller is actually nothing but you, in fact. So you can move ahead. You can resolve all matters. You can be forgiven. There is no sin. There is no sin. You have been carrying it rather too long now. You need to make your headway because the cycle of karma has completed but have you have you transformed so as you listen to these words you are asked to move ahead in your life out of shame and guilt beyond a higher possibility that awaits you Because your body is being prepared for divine intervention. All will be dissolved with your awareness. All you need to do is to allow things to happen to you. Just allow it. The blessing is there, no matter what has been done, what has happened. The might of blessing is much more powerful than the shame and guilt you have been carrying. That has dissipated almost. All you need to do is just to help dissolve just to help your karma dissolve. This is the final one. Just 20% of it. All that happened, it happened in ignorance. It happened in ignorance. If you could have known better, you'd have done better. But this is what you could know. You were pushed by drunk mind or drunk senses. You were consumed, you were totally consumed by it. You did it, now it's gone. Whatever it is, it's gone now, as you hear this. But you are asked to move ahead. Because moving ahead is the only way to dissolve all there has been and there is to move into absolute silence. 
absolute silence. There is no noise at the back of the head. We are guided into a higher realm of possibility of life. Oh, Shan. Sadhguru is blessing. Yes, Sadhguru Bhagwan.